In this tutorial, we'll, we'll learn about writing introductions and conclusions for your essay. The introduction prepares the reader for your topic. Some introduction starters include telling a story. You could write a short three or four sentence story that helps prepare the reader for the topic of the essay. We learned about narrative writing and this is where narrative writing would come in. You can use an attention grabber. Anything that makes the reader want to read more, something sad, gross, scary, or exciting, really get their attention. You could state a strong opinion. Your goal is to make your reader want to respond and keep reading. You can ask a question. Asking a question makes the reader want to keep reading to find out what the answer is. You can state a fact, something that's important of your thesis statement. You could give a statistic. Um, make sure that you cite sources when using facts and statistics. Some examples of introduction starters include, I will never forget when. This is telling a story. Many people would be shocked to learn that. This is stating a fact. It's also an attention grabber. If I could go back in time, I never would have. This is an attention grabber because it makes your reader want to find out what you never would have done. Statistics show that. This is where you would state a statistic. Another type of stating a statistic is you might be surprised to learn that. Again, make sure you cite your source. There is only one opinion an intelligent person can conclude when. This is a strong opinion and it makes the reader want to read on to see if they agree with or don't agree with your opinion. Did you know that or have you ever? Uh, this is a question that makes the reader want to connect with what you're reading and keep reading. Conclusions are much the same as the introduction, but rather than preparing the reader for the topic, it reviews the topic. You can summarize and restate the thesis statement. Never simply um, use the exact same wording as your thesis statement. You always want to restate it in a different way. Review the three primary supporting details in your essay. Uh, in, in the conclusion, in different words, of course. Give final thoughts and opinions about the topic. Choose to close the essay with a challenge. Uh, offering a challenge to the reader encourages them to go out and find out more about your thesis. Some conclusion starters include, surely, as you can see, it is clear that, without a doubt, most would agree that, Certainly, clearly, obviously, indeed. You don't want to end your essay by saying, in conclusion, while this might have been all right in high school, it's not all right in college. You should try and get away from saying, in conclusion. Remember, putting your entire essay together, you want to determine your topic and main idea, brainstorm at least three primary supporting details for the main idea, write a strong thesis statement, and then write the body paragraphs. Um, it's a good idea to write all of that before you write the introduction. You can go back after you've written your body paragraphs and fill in your introduction. You'll find that it might be a little easier that way. Finally, write the conclusion and always, always proofread. Did you run a spell check? Did you have someone else read the paper? Is your formatting correct? Happy writing!